Good day, everybody. Uh, John Easton here from Fishtech. And today we're talking about the new update for Khudutro or Pubani Dam. Um, let's get straight into it. Uh, we're going to push our pages here. Uh, guys, please remember, uh, I know I say this in every single one of my videos, but please start off with Navionics. You see on the far right, this is under your more options here. You're going to change that to Navionics. It's the built-in chart, so um, it's got quite a bit of information to help you around where you are anywhere in the country. Whatever chart you buy, you're always going to uh, uh, do this, this first. Um, so what we need to do is we need to find uh, Hudetro Dam. You know, it's up here, Ginging Lovo, near Mammoth, Nalmuth, sorry, Mammoth, Nalmuth. Uh, there we go, and start off. This is going to work a little bit different to... Uh, the previous one, I've tried to simplify it somewhat. Uh, you'll just go straight to Hudetro Dam. <clears throat> and there it is there. We're going to open it up. There we go. Okay, there's, there's the dam there. Okay, um, guys, I also recommend under chart options, make your chart detail low. It just helps uh, not clutter the screen too much with things. And um, with, with the uh, photo overlay, if you... It's obviously going to come as off. It's going to look like, like that. Um, if you go full, you're going to now see just the contours on top of the satellite. And if you go land only, you're going to see that. You're going to see the uh, colored isobaths. Um, and another thing, I'd rather want to do it like this. Let's go 3D. We use that there. And we've got a little bit more screen to play around with. Let's move that. There we go. Okay, guys. Um, when I was there, uh, the dam was actually going over the old uh, wall, uh, so it's it was a hundred, possibly hundred and one percent full. The first time I went there in 2016, the uh, dam level was the lowest it ever was, and I got uh, a lot of work done with the drone, uh, which is the Aerial HD. This is about uh, 2,000 acres, roughly just, just under 2,000 acres, um, the, these areas. I tried to focus on the, what looked like the most productive sort of areas, uh, you know, where it was quite flat. And I could only get as far as this point here. I couldn't go anywhere near the river. It was just crocodiles, and obviously you couldn't get a boat in there. It was too, too low um, and all overgrown. Um, but uh, guys, I, I just want to emphasize again, I know I spoke about it previously, but um, guys, this, this data here, if you take about 2,000 acres worth here, if you have to go and say, okay, I'm going to do this myself, I'm going to commission a, uh, a, a company to go and do this for me and go and map this for me with the drone, you're looking at about $120 per acre. That's what it goes up to, up to about $120 per, per acre. That's what these guys charge. Guys, do you know what that works out to in acreage here? It's, it's, it's like, it's nearly 2 million rand. I know that sounds ridiculous, but please don't take this aerial HD data lightly. And then, of course, with the aerial HD, you also get the elevation to give you your sort of 3D sort of... Uh, uh, appearance, you know, um, like a shaded relief with the 3D. And from this, you can see why it is such a valuable tool. Look at the detail that you get there compared to the contours. Look, the, the contour obviously dips in there, um, but I mean, it's nothing, nothing like what you see with the Aerial HD. If you go to your, uh, I mean, your, 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 your elevation, your Aerial HD, yes, from that you can see there is a bit of a dip there. Let's see what it looks like with the satellite. Yeah, you can also see it there. Let's go back. Let's go to our chart options, make that full. <clears throat> there we go. Yeah, no, it's... You, you, in, in fact, the satellite for Hudutro is actually very good. It's it's very good. Um, but as you know, you know, as you zoom in, things, uh, you know, it's one of those cases of nice from far, but far from nice. And if you change that to Aerial HD, uh, now you can see exactly, you know, incredible detail. Um, let's just have a look. 
what was this little picture of? Okay. Oh, in, in order to see those pictures, we're going to have to go out of 3D. So let's use a 325. Oh, there it is there. Yeah, you can actually see. Um, all these photographs around the dam were taken in 2020 when the dam was at 75, 70 to 75%, somewhere around there. And it was down by 48 feet. So, um, you know, uh, just 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 keep in mind the shoreline in all these photographs that you see here, the original, you know, th these, we must be careful because I think there were some earlier ones too. Um, I think I did take a couple um, when the dam was at 16%. Uh, let's just I th seem to recall something here a 15 I just want to double check sorry guys um, look how low it was eh? incredible let's try that one there no this was I'll have to go back and double check on on my notes um, but the majority oh, no, 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 they, no these were definitely taken uh, when the dam was at um, uh, uh, 70 odd, odd percent. So, um, but this aerial HD that you see here, this aerial HD, this was at um, 16%. So all this aerial HD data that, that you've got here, just keep in mind that was at 16%. So that was very low. That's about 100 feet down from, from full. So, um, but the most important thing is that we've now got the uh, contours all the way up to 100% of, of the dam. So um, I know a lot of guys were fishing there recently and from about, well, 48 feet down up, there was no, no, no contours. Um, and obviously that is your primary fishing area. So I, I do appreciate that I had to get there as soon as possible. Um, and uh, the first opportunity I got, I obviously went in and I had that done. Well, I did it myself. Um, and yeah, it's come out great. Uh, what I did do, um, I did a slow pass through the entire shoreline. Um, I think I did about, in total, I think I did about 80 odd kilometers of uh, side scan mosaic. Um, so while you think, oh, yeah, but I wish you went out deeper. Guys, I just want to also emphasize something here. You cannot have anything better. There is nothing better than aerial HD and elevation. Those two tools there, there's no side scan on this planet that is going to give you higher resolution and better definition than those two there. So if you are, are using a fish tech chart and it's got aerial HD and elevation, you're always going to use that first. I know on most of, our, of the dams that I've done, they are, at best there's some small areas, but uh, unfortunately it is what it is. Um, but where you do have aerial HD and elevation, you always, always use that first. So if we go to our mosaic now, <clears throat> And keep in mind, there was there is, there's a lot of timber. I mean, a lot of uh, timber in, in the water. So even if we go aerial HD, you'll see these areas. Can you see in 2016, you see these little, little things starting to grow here? Well, these have turned into bloody big thorn trees and what have you all over the place. So um, you can see it didn't even really register much. You know, they, they just started growing out then in 2016. Whereas, um, if, if let me have a look at the satellite. Does the satellite now? The satellite also doesn't show it very well. But uh, anyway, just keep an eye on your um, mosaics when you're fishing up to this sort of depth. You'll see the mosaic is going out to about 20 feet here. Guys, can you see these lines? You see these lines all over the place? Those are your trees. Okay. So wherever you see that, those are trees. Here's uh, this is where uh, um, your your mosaic is really nice because of the shadows. You know, um, let's see if, if you can see this line here. 
if we go to Ahura Trot Dam, yes, you actually can, like I said. And the reason why the satellite is so good for Ahura Trot is because of the angle of the sun when these satellite images were taken. Because the satellite image is doing a little bit what the side scan does with regard to shadows. So, uh, like I said, a lot of dams in South Africa, the satellite is just, at best, it's a guideline. Uh, you know, it's not very good. But this Huda Tro one is, is, is actually very good. Um, this is your aerial HD uh, and your elevation. Yeah, you can see it there. Okay. So, yeah, you know, side scan mosaic definitely does have the advantage from casting such beautiful shallows, you know, uh, uh, shadows in, in the shallows. So you can see exactly what is going on. And like I said, I, I did a lot, you know, I did a lot of uh, uh, side, side scan here. I uh, just want to see, would you see that tree? Yeah, oh, they, they start growing there. Okay, so um, guys, that's basically it. Um, oh, the most important thing, of course, is where we ran out of aerial HD, I went right into the rivers. I mean, right into the back, all the way up around the corner. If you take the spot here, I mean, you can't, you literally cannot go any further. You would have to get your boat out and push it over rocks and all sorts of things to go any further than than where where I've gone, and uh, you've got mosaics all the way up there, all the way. So if we zoom in there, there's some big boulders there. Just be careful, guys, when you go up this river. When you go this far up the river, just pay very close attention to your charts. You can get into trouble quite quickly up here. Um, but yeah. Um, so, yeah, the, the mosaic is done uh, right up the river there. Legoland, obviously, uh, this whole area here, some nice mosaics there, a lot of nice information there. You can see some really interesting stuff. <clears throat> uh, unfortunately, we don't have aerial HD for this area. Um, the, the, there's the satellites, a little bit, yeah, it's very difficult to make out sometimes with the satellite. But like I said, the Hudetro one is, is actually quite, quite good. But anyway, you've, you guys have now got the mosaics for it. <clears throat> and um, yeah, um, guys, just how it works. If you've bought a, um, a chart in the last 12 months, it comes with a free subscription, uh, a fish tech subscription, which means any of your charts, if there's an update available, the update is free. You've just got to pay for uh, the post net to get the card back to us and the cost for us to send it back to you. Um, <clears throat> so out of your pocket, you, you're you looking at about, what's it now? I think it's gone up slightly. So it's about 220 rand, somewhere around there for the end back for a, for a return of your card. Um, but in the greater scheme of things, you know, if, if, if you think the amount of time and effort that goes into an update like this, um, it definitely is is worth it. So, uh, guys, uh, please uh, give give Colleen a, a, a call. Um, and uh, organize your, your chart, um, your free update. Uh, just a reminder, if you haven't bought a chart in the last 12 months and you don't want to buy a new chart, because obviously if you buy a new chart, you, you get a 12-month subscription. Uh, it comes free with it. If you just want to buy the standalone subscription, um, it has gone up by 10%, and it is now 1,100 rand. Yeah, 1,100 rand. And that will give you your 12-month uh, sub subscription. Um, a lot of our charts have gone up. Um, <clears throat> I think it's roughly around 10%. Uh, as we haven't had an update on our charts, I think, for the last four years, there hasn't been any uh, uh, increase in prices. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, things have got expensive and petrol and diesel and people's time is very expensive nowadays. So, yeah, um, guys, uh, thanks for watching the video. And uh, give Colleen a call and, um, and arrange your Hudetro update. Thanks for watching.